hello friends today i have come up with a new video that is auto recluse scheme in ehb lines how it is implemented in transmission lines why it is implemented and what are the benefits of auto recluse in ehb lines that i'll discuss auto recluse schemes are implemented in the transmission line basically to reduce the outage time of the transmission line because of some transient fault transient faults are those which persist in transmission line for very short duration of time that is maybe one second or even less than that and are removed automatically from the transmission line for example transient faults are like touching of a tree branch from outside the line corridor to the line and getting removed automatically then because of insulator flash over or thundering also this kind of faults may occur in transmission line and permanent nature of faults are breaking of conductor or snapping of conductor or even uh, falling of a big tree or tree branch over the line permanently the behavior of relay for any kind of fault that is transient or permanent would be same so for a transient fault also relay will give a trip command to the circuit breakers and for a permanent fault also relay will give a trip command to the circuit breaker in transmission line 70 to 80 percent of the time the faults are of transient nature so as to reduce the outage time of the transmission line because of such transient faults this kind of auto recluse schemes are used in transmission line but when fault persists in the line in that case after auto recluse also if the relay senses there is a fault then it gives trip command to the circuit breaker once again and the line trips and in such cases we say auto recluse is unsuccessful there are basically two kinds of auto recluse schemes used in ehb transmission lines three phase auto recluse and single phase auto recluse scheme transmission line which are latched with circuit breakers having different mechanism for their different phases there we can use single phase auto recluse and the circuit breakers where a single mechanism for all the three phases are used we can use three phase auto recluse schemes let us start with single phase auto recluse scheme here we have considered two stations station 2 and station 3 mainly and again station 2 is connected to another station station 1 that is also connected to a generating station and similarly station 3 is connected to station 4 which is again connected to a generating station so that means there are two separate systems connected among them uh, from station 2 to station 3 by the transmission lines indicated in colors that is r y and b in transmission line phase 2 phase fault and 3 phase faults are considered severe so in the case of phase 2 phase that is double phase or 3 phase faults the auto recluse scheme is kept disabled so in the case of single phase 2 earth fault only the auto recluse take place in transmission lines these settings are being followed in india basically and most of the other countries in the world also let us see how single phase auto recluse takes place in a transmission line to understand the single phase auto recluse we have considered an phase 2 earth fault in a transmission line because of the fault the relay at station 2 and station 3 will sense the fault and give opening command to the respective circuit breakers that is circuit breaker 2 and circuit breaker 3 from the figure it can be observed all the phases are having different compartments that is these circuit breakers are single pole operated so as a result the r phase pole or the r phase circuit breaker in both the stations will open after opening of the circuit breakers that is r pole the fault will be cleared so as a result the relay at both the ends will give recluse command to the circuit breakers and the circuit breakers will close after one second which is known as dead time in the case of transient fault the fault will be removed within one second so on reclose of the circuit breakers after one second the line will withstand and work as before normally but if there is permanent kind of fault and which is not cleared within one second after reclosing of the circuit breaker the relay will sense the fault once again and will give a trip command to whole circuit breaker on tripping of lines after auto recluse we call it as unsuccessful auto recluse such kind of single attempt of auto recluse is being followed in india but in relay we can select number of auto recluse attempts for a fault 
Let us see what happens in a three-phase autoreclose. Three-phase autoreclose schemes are generally followed in substations where gang operated circuit breakers are used. These type of schemes are generally used in 132k V level and below that. And single phase autoreclose schemes are generally used in 220k V and above level substations. From the figure, it can be observed that all the poles of the circuit breakers are enclosed in a single enclosure. That is, this kind of circuit breakers are operated from a single mechanism. So, for a single phase fault also, the whole circuit breaker, that is, all the three phases will open once and for reclose, the all the three phases will close once again. But, as all the phases op gets open because of any kind of fault, the system at station 2 and station 3 will get separated from one another because of the tripping. In the case of single phase auto reclose, we have seen only one of the pole opens for a fault and because of that when during the reclose the other two phases are kept in synchronism so during the reclose circuit breaker need not take care of any synchronization so it is it will blindly close but in case of three phase auto reclose the situation becomes different and as a result in three phase auto reclose circuit breakers at both the stations do not auto reclose at a time circuit breaker at one of the station recloses first maybe by 800 or 1000 milliseconds and after around 200 milliseconds the circuit breaker at other station recloses after checking the voltage and frequency of the incoming lines existing bus and also the synchronizing criteria. here also for a transient fault the auto reclose becomes successful and for a persistent fault the auto reclose becomes unsuccessful in a transmission line for another auto reclose to take place we need some time to give to the relay for getting ready for second attempt of auto reclose that time is known as reclaim time the time is generally considered as 20 to 25 seconds in india